Welcome back, everybody, to the Cave Story playthrough. This is part ocho. Yeah, I'm getting all Spanish over here. Anyway, whoa. Uh, right as we're going through these sunstones. <clears throat> whoa. Sunstones, as they were called. Uh, we get these giant skull head guys. And here's Jenka's house, that lady who apparently knows stuff about the red flowers, which are bad for the Mimigas. Oh, my. Oh, that's your puppy. Weird. I wanted to keep him. Who do you think you are? Uh oh, crap. We know what that huzzah means. Oh, shoot. Do, 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 do. What do you want, Balrog? You suitcase jerk. Half foot of a daughter. Misery. Interesting. Jenka is Misery's mother. Hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. That's not troubling at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Balrog doesn't make idle threats. Heh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, four more po For a second there, I thought she was talking about, like, four more Balrogs or something. Anyway, this part of the playthrough is now the puppy collecting service part of the playthrough. Uh, we're going to be working for Jenka and bringing back her puppies, which are strewn around all over the place in the sand zone. Well, not all over the place. They're pretty much, you know, all in, like, the same basic direction. But it's a heck of a job getting over there. I didn't much appreciate this part, and I had to qu cut out quite a bit of time. Anywho, uh, there's another one of those little paw print stones. Uh, yeah, so we just found ourselves a little secret passageway. Sweet, and a life capsule, and a chest. Hmm. How much health will we get this time? Five. Sweet. It's a dog. <laughs> Who stuffed a dog in a treasure chest? <laughs> and I love how it gives, like, the whole little jingle of, like, you got an important item thing. <laughs> it's like, you got the puppy. <laughs> Funny stuff. Funny stuff, this game. <sighs> when it's not being all sad and tragic, of course. Anyway, back to Jenkins with the second puppy. That would make, uh, this would be number th two. Ta can't count. Two out of five. Hmm. I think we've already known that, uh, Soldier from the Surface. Hundreds of robots killed Mimigas and the humans that tried to protect them. Mimigas ate the red flowers and killed the robots. Huh. Well, that's totally not depressing. Uh. Now, I don't understand why did somebody make these robots and have them kill the Mimigas. Mm. Anyway, there's like a whole like um, stockpile of hearts and missiles if you need them, which I don't because I'm just so, you know, so pro with it. Okay, here we go. The level 3 bubbler. Now, this is what the bubbler does. You hold down the fire key and it has, well, it has a limit of 100. Whoa. And as long as you hold it down, it'll keep making these bubbles, which will actually act like a shield. And, uh, after a few seconds or so, these bubbles will actually sort of, well, uh, break off and become like little spiky attack things. Yeah, it's... Ouch! Shoot. Very useful for these guys who insist on attacking you with their projectiles. So you can just keep on sort of making a shield and uh, they won't hit you with the giant bones of death. And God, I hate those birds. I really do. <laughs> uh, and I thought bats were annoying. All right, here we go. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Back up to level three. All right, we are not getting this. Is shield time? Bubbler shield time. Bubbler. That reminds me of um, Brian Zero B Thirty Six Diddy Kong Racing playthrough. Bubbler the octopus. What the heck's he saying? Anyway, hey, there's a puppy, and he just went inside this door. And uh, it's all dark. And hey, how the heck did he get up there so fast? Wacky. Yeah, so you need the uh, sort of map thingy to sort of help you figure out where the trail is. It was a heck of a job getting up there. <laughs> yep. I really don't like these parts. I can't figure this stuff out. Up, oh, a little bit more to the left. And then sort of, yeah, a little bit to the, there we go. And then, uh, up, oh, a little bit more to the left. And, yep. Up, oh, nope. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, yep, go. Go for it. Sweet. Um, hmm. Nope. No? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Woof, woof, woof! 
<laughs> I like how the little dog barking noises are in this game. Whoa, that was close. Because, as you can tell, there's a sand croc down there. It's not cool. Not cool at all. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we don't want that. Anyway, um... One thing I suppose I forgot to mention was the machine gun that Curly Brace wanted to trade with you for your Polar Star. Whoa, totally skipping time. Ah, I'll have to get to it in a second. Because Jenka, every time you give her back a puppy, she gives you... She sort, she, ah, sort of advances the plot a little bit. A frenzied Mimiga. Mm, I have. Mm, what did happen to them? Yes, I do. I definitely do. <laughs> okay, we definitely don't want that to happen, so we're going to save the world. Because that's always fun. It really is. Anyway, uh, the machine gun that Curly Brace had. Um, the, I remember it because it was actually... I, I sort of didn't know what I was doing the first time around, and I remember I had traded it for the machine gun. Um, because I thought, like, it was the only thing that you trade for it. You know, I thought it was, like, something you had to do. You, like, you couldn't say no to that trade or something. Anyway, um, when you get it up to level 3, it can actually, you can actually use it as a boosting thing. Like the bubbler, it has, uh, limited, it has a, a hundred, out, a hundred bullets in it. And, uh, when it gets up to level 3, you can actually use it by, while pointing down and shooting to propel yourself up into the air. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it really is. I was a little disappointed in the fact that I couldn't use it, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, you really don't need it. You know, you can just use your super pro skills to um, get past all that crap. There we go. Ah, get back here, you wascally little doggy. Get along, little doggy. Anyway, yeah, I'm sure you can all guess what happened on the way back. Absolutely nothing. Anywho. Ah, <laughs> I <they> sure do. <laughs> Bad sorts. <laughs> wow, four. <laughs> I love how they all look identical. Well then, one left. Hmm. Well then, I don't want the storage storehouse key. Jeez, you're gonna be such an old lady about it. God. Anyway, um, so yeah, machine the machine gun's great. It's especially great in the sand zone. But after that, it just sort of becomes not so great. Especially towards the end, where, you know, you need, like, some serious firepower, and... Unfortunately, the machine gun doesn't deliver. I'm sorry to say it, but it really doesn't. I do still have the old save file, though, from... Well, the old stuff that I did. I didn't get too many of the life capsules. I ended up having only 41 health at the end of the game. And here we are, all the way... Only at the sand zone, and I already have 36. Go figure. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, I mean, that crazy curly brace, what are you going to do with her? Well, we don't know much about her yet. I mean, well, you don't. <laughs> anyway, I'm not trying to insinuate anything, but yeah, she's, um, she's a good person. That's all I will say. That's all I'll say for now. Anyway, killing these stupid parrots and their stupid, um, skull head, jerk face, butt head things. Yeah. Using the bubbler kind of gets a little disorienting because you can't really see where you're going with all these bubbles around you. <laughs> there we go. Die, die, die. Eat my bubbles of doom. What do you think of that? You think it's, it's deliciously painful. That's what you think. Um, also about the machine gun, uh, it has a really slow reload, but there's actually an item that you get later on that uh, makes it reload faster. It's wacky, yo. Ah, crap. Well, <laughs> try number two. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I sort of cut it off there because, you know, I thought I didn't have enough time, and then I realized I did. Actually, I was way over the limit. That's why I had to cut off time with me, like, going back uh, from getting the puppies back to Jenka's house. Ow, you stupid Triceratops skull bone-throwing guy! God! Hate these skulls. All right. Moving on. Get my uh, missile launcher back up to three. Everything's at max. All right, here we go. And there's a bird. I don't like these birds. Oh, great. There's two birds behind it. Did I mention I don't like these birds? <laughs> They're about as annoying as bats. Oh, there's more birds past these two. What the heck? And I can only imagine that falling here is going to mean certain death. I'm not even going to look down there. 
Well, okay, there seems to be a heck of a lot of birds after these. So you know what? We're just going to pull out the missile launcher, and we're going to rain hell on them! Da ha 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 Anyway, that was fun. Whoa. I don't like these birds, and blowing them all up is just great. Yeah. Was there a... Was there a note down there? There was a note down there, wasn't there? Oh, well, anyway, that's it for this part of the Cave Story playthrough. Join me in part nine, where we'll be getting this last puppy and seeing what happens. See you all next time.